Nom nom, everybody. Yes, I have the classic controller, and it's plugged into the player one slot this time. Reset. Um, yeah, I really just can't even put into words how frustrated I am with myself from yesterday. Oh, I really need to turn this up. Forgot how quiet Super Metroid is. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Super Metroid. Look how much progress I made. I made an entire hour of progress. And look what's gonna happen. It goes kaboom. Uh, kaboom. Uh, it's a good thing I made a copy. Yes, it's okay. Okay, so in the last few episodes, we ransacked the wrecked ship. And now we are going to finish ransacking it, and hopefully this won't- all this stuff won't take as long. What happened yesterday is that... I... wasn't thinking, and after recording through the entire next area... I forgot to save- to copy the... I forgot to save the video to my computer, let's just put it that way. Turn it into an AVI and save it. What? Thank you. Ow! Gimme. By the way, I do have reserve tanks, so I'm not completely dead, not yet. Okay, any more? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm using super missiles like none other. So, I didn't save it. I saved my commentary, but I didn't save the... The... Thingy. Um, in this room, you have to kill all the enemies before proceeding through any of the doors. So, freaking SpaghettiOs! Get out of my way, SpaghettiO shooter. No, I'm standing right here, and I'm blasting you into the next hole. Frickin' A. So, I was lucky enough to get a chance to record today also, because my parents do have to run some more errands, and the Wii is in the living room. The room of living, and my family does live. Um, uh, but missile expansion tank thing. Yay. Um, I have actually been going through another file of Metroid Prime, and I... I actually know offhand ev the location of every item. I mean, I don't, like, number them and say, okay, um, this missile expansion such and such is located here, and frickin' frickin' frickin'. Thank you. No, I don't do that. I just know where they are. One super- two super missiles, okay. Ow. Uh, so, yeah, it was... Ugh. God, I hated that yesterday. But good news from yesterday, I did proceed, um... Made some good progress on my Mario ROM hacks, which, speaking of Mario World ROM hacks, I have learned how to apply EX graphics, extra graphics, and custom sprites. Um, so, custom... Uh, graphics, custom music, custom sprites, I can pretty much make a really good hack, and I can customize the overworld like mofo. So, I am fairly confident that I can make a good hack. A hack that will be approved by SuperMarioWorldCentral.net, thank you very much. And I've seen how they moderate the, uh, the ROM hacks that go to that site, it's insanity. Whoa! You know, it took me 10 minutes to get this missile expansion when I recorded it the first time. So that's... Uh, things are already looking up. And thank God I do have super missiles. Because right here, I believe it is. Let me see. Yep, it is a super missile. Okay. Right through here. Missile expansion. And you're supposed to fall down there. However, if you know your Super Metroid tricks, you can do this. Oh yeah. That's some serious Super Metroidage right there. Oh yeah. Uh, you wouldn't believe the amount of progress I lost yesterday. I mean, literally, I was at Ridley's hideout. In Norfair. I was there. I was there. 
and I was collecting the last of the expansions my dad walked in. I was really getting mad because I had epic items. I'll just leave it at that. I mean, it was I was having fun. And I was in Deep North Air, I decided to stop. That door is a trap! I forgot. Okay. Ha! I do not feel like dying today. Not today. Not today. Everyone must... Everyone gotta die sometime, as, uh... They said in Du Hast by Rammstein. Uh, Rammstein. Really awesome. Uh, that's R-A-M-M... S-T-E-I-N, for those of you who even rem have remote interest in it. Hey, we're going bowling with the Chozo! Yes, I hate to steal Nintendo Capri Sun's joke, but it does occur several times that you go bowling with the Chozo statues um, in the Metroid series, especially in Metroid Prime, where you get a Chozo artifact, and in the Hall of the Elders, which... yeah. Okay. And in here is an awesome item. This is the gravity suit! Now you can walk in water, uh, magma, pretty much anything liquid without a problem. So you know how you're really slow in water? Well, now you're normal. And also, now that we have the Varia and gravity suit, we are immune to magma. So we can walk in magma. Which is huge, because that's how you access Ridley's hideout right there. That's how you access Ridley's hideout right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you're gonna want to push these guys into their holes, because there's a Chozo statue with a missile tank. But that's not all. Boom! Missile expansion. I re I <laughs> I really miss Metroid Prime Two and Three, where they tell you how many missiles you have total. That is not normal. Boom! Okay, so what you need to do is you need to spark jump. So let's. Spark jump! Really? Oh, I am really low on health. Crap. My reserve tanks! Yes! This is an example of when you can set the reserve tanks to manual. And you can apply all your reserve tanks. So, I just used up all of my reserve tanks. I'm going to set it to automatic now. Okay, so now I should have enough energy to pull off the spark jump. If I could, you know, pull off the spark jump in the first place. Whoa! Yes, it worked! Now, what you need to make sure of... Oh, wrong. There we go. There is a gap there. Huh! Okay. I barely made it over there last time on my first recording. But anyway, that's three reserve tanks. The fourth one is located in the next area, which... Yeah, that was close. I almost hit those spikes. Which we do need the gravity suit for, as you may have figured. We don't just need to get into Ridley's hideout, we need to just maneuver in general in what the equivalent of Atlantis. Because this place, this next place is just filled with water. It is underwater, the complete, the whole area. And yes, I did mean to fall down here. What, do you think I was an idiot? <laughs> no! Completely. Missile expansion. Yes, I do memorize where every one of these missile tanks are. Deal with it. Let me open up my videos folder. So I can actually remember. Um, thing is, I recorded an hour and a half of stuff, of video. Obviously, I've already said uh, that it did quite, that I didn't save it, and I, oh, I recorded over it. Because what I do is I record into the same folder so it replaces anything that was in there before. But as long as I get my video out of that folder, it's fine. But I didn't get the video out of the folder, and I recorded over it. And it was only ten minutes. Replaced an hour and a half with ten minutes. Ugh. Anyway, I blame my cousin, Jeremy, from uh, Facebook, because I started talking to him on Facebook as I was waiting, and then, yeah, you, you know what happened past there. I completely neglected my videos folder. Yeah. And hopefully my freaking parents will call before they come home so I know when to hit a save point when not to. Which, speaking of not to, um, I reset my emerald recently. <laughs> and um, my Pokemon emerald had 436 hours or so on it. Because, I mean, of nothing. Literally, pretty much nothing. And I had taken almost all the Pokemon out of the game you know, migrated them to, like, uh, my Pokemon 
Platinum, I think it was. I don't remember which one. No, it was uh, Pearl. Yes, I am a Pokemon fan geek. Deal with it, okay? We got an awesome community over at Pokecharms.com, but if you come, if you go to Pokecharms.com, you better not act like an ass, okay? But anyway, um, I decided to restart it, and it, it was a traumatic moment. No, it really wasn't. It was a big moment, though, because literally, I had that game since the fifth grade. It, it was my first Pokemon game. That's why I choose Blaziken, or I picked, Tor uh, picked Torchic again, because I picked Torchic as my very first Pokemon I ever had. And there's an energy tank. Bring us to 8 out of 14 energy tanks. Awesome. By the way, I wouldn't recommend falling. There are a bunch of spikes down there, and a fish, and yeah, it all hurts. Why do I get the feeling... Oh, we did download the map. It's just that the map doesn't cover this part.